Hi, I am Balaji Sampath and I teach physics and math to high school students. And when I ask my students, some of them are very smart, when I ask them, do you know fraction division? And everybody jumps up and says, of course, we learned it already in the 7th standard, in the 6th standard. And then I ask them, wait, 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 let us check it out. How about 1 by 2 by 3 by 4? Can you solve this? Immediately, all the students jump up and many of them tell me, the answer is 1 by 2 into 4 by 3, the reciprocal of 3 by 4. And therefore, the answer is 4 by 6 or 2 by 3 with some simplification. Then I say, wait, what about 1 by 2 by 3? That should be easy, right? What do you say to this? And half of the class immediately tells me it is 3 by 2. And the other half of the class tells me it is 1 by 6. I tell them, wait, wait, how can half of you say 3 by 2 and the other half 1 by 6? So then I get, get hold of one of the students who says 3 by 2 and asks, how, do you, how did you get 3 by 2? So then he or she explains, it is 1 divided by 1 by 2 by 3. So you have to multiply by the reciprocal of 2 by 3. So 1 into 3 by 2 and therefore the correct answer is 3 by 2. Then I say, before we decide, let us go and ask one of the students who got 1 by 6. When I ask the student who got 1 by 6, she tells me, no, 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 1 by 6 is correct because whenever you have 1 by 2 by 3, you must write it as 1 by 2 by 3 by 1. It is not just 3, 3 by 1. And so the reciprocal of 3 by 1 is 1 by 3. And the, of course, you have 1 by 2 into reciprocal of 3 by 1. And therefore, this is 1 by 6. And so she argues that the correct answer is 1 by 6. But obviously both cannot be right, right? So which one is correct? So that is the key question that we are going to look at in today's session of math misconceptions. Okay, so let us dive deep into understanding how fractions work and how fraction division works. Let us say I have 1 by 2. When I look at 1 by 2, what is the meaning of 1 by 2? It is 1 divided by 2. And yes, you are right that when it's divided by 2, you are supposed to multiply by its reciprocal. So it is 1 into the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 by 2. And therefore, the answer is 1 by 2, which is what we have written there. Right? Now, let us think about what is 1 by 1 by 2. Now, suppose I look at this. That is, you are talking about 1 divided by half. And like we did there, we should continue to do that. And so we should say it is 1 multiplied by the reciprocal of 1 by 2. What is the reciprocal of 1 by 2? It is 2. So therefore, the answer is 2. And then what happens when I have 1 by 2, 1 by 2 divided by 3? That is, there is a fraction that I am dividing by a natural number like this. Here I had, of course, a natural number 1 divided by 1 by 2. Here I am talking about 1 by 2 divided by 3. It's 1 by 2 divided by 3. And so it is 1 by 2 into, well, whatever you are dividing it by, that you should take its reciprocal. So it is 1 by 3 and we do get 1 by 6 here. Now suppose I talk about 1 by 2 by 1 by 3. Let's try to find out what is that. So I have here 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 3. Okay, so I'm doing 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 3. This is very confusing way of writing it. So let us write 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 3. What is this? 1 by 2 into reciprocal of 1 by 3, which is basically 3. And so the answer is 3 by 2. So arguing this way, if I get 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 4, what should I get? I should write this as 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 4 and therefore 1 by 2 into reciprocal of 3 by 4, 4 by 3, which is why it is 4 by 6 or 2 by 3. Okay, that's just simplification. You're cancelling out the 2. So we know this. You know this uh, quite well. Let us now try to understand what is 1 by 2 by 3. 1 by 2 by 3 actually has no meaning. Because this is not very clear what you are talking about. You could be talking about 1 by 2 by 3 or you could be talking about 1 by 2 by 3. Depending on whether you are talking about that or talking about this, you have different answers. What is the meaning of 1 by 2 by 3? Let us write it down carefully. It is 1 by 2 divided by 3 which is 1 by 2 
into reciprocal of 3 which is 1 by 3 and therefore 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 gives us 1 by 6. So 1 by 2 by 3 you could have an answer 1 by 6 if you thought it was 1 by 2 half divided by 3. Let's think about this. If it is half 1 by 2 was half divided by 3 it is much smaller than half because half you have taken half and you have cut it up into 3 parts. So each part is going to be 1 by 6. But you could also say, no, 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 it is not half divided by 3, it is 1 divided by 2 by 3. You have to take 1 and cut it up into 2 thirds of, 2 thirds pieces. Well, 2 thirds pieces may not make sense, right, physically, but you are dividing 1 by 2 by 3. 1 by 2 by 3, write it like this, 1 divided by 2 by 3. Well, that is 1 into the reciprocal of 2 by 3, which is 3 by 2. So, yes, you do get 3 by 2. So this fellow 1 by 2 by 3 could have this answer if you assume that the question means this. It could have this answer 1 by 6 if you assume the question means this. What does the question mean? Does it mean this? Does it mean this? Well that is up to you. So whenever you write 1 by 2 by 3 it's a meaningless quantity because it could be 1 by 2 by 3 or it could mean 1 by 2 by 3. Depending on what you are talking about, your answer is going to vary and vary substantially. So always ask the question, what exactly are you asking for? What exactly is the calculation you want us to do? Based on what you want to do, your answer will change. Let us now look at 1 by 2 by 3 by 4. How come everybody gave the same answer to that? That is a problem. So now let us look at 1 by 2 by 3 by 4. Most people assume, most people assume that this is actually 1 by 2 by 3 by 4. Okay, because this is the most common question that comes up in school. So it is 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 4. So obviously it is 1 by 2 into the reciprocal of 3 by 4 which is 4 by 3. And so you get 4 by 6 or if I cancel this out you get 2 by 3. Right? So this is what most people give as the answer because there is no other question that is asked. But that is not the only possibility because you could have meant that it is 1 by 2 by 3 by 4. This could have been the question that we asked. Maybe 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 means take 1 by 2 divide by 3. Then take the result of that and divide by 4. So 1 by 2 by 3 by 4. Now let us think about what this will look like. This is 1 by 2 divided by 3, whole thing divided by 4. 1 by 2 divided by 3 is 1 by 2 into reciprocal of 3 which is 1 by 3. So 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 is 1 by 6 divided by 4 which is 1 by 6 into 1 by 4. So you get 1 by 24. Clearly a very different answer from 2 by 3. But are these the only two possibilities? No, because you see I could have also thought of this as 1 by 2 by 3 by 4. Notice what am I saying here? I am saying it is 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 by 4. What is 2 divided by 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 by 4? What is 2 divided by 3 by 4? Well, 2 into 4 by 3. 2 into 4 by 3. What is that? 1 by 2 into 4 by 3. That is 8 by 3. So what is 1 divided by 8 by 3? It is 1 into reciprocal of 8 by 3 which is 3 by 8. 1 into 3 by 8 is of course 3 by 8. Notice I get a very different answer if I assume this to be the question. I get a very different answer 1 by 24 if I assume this to be the question. And I get a completely different answer if I assume this to be the question. Of course in school most often people expect you to assume this. And therefore this will be the answer. Which is why all my students usually give me one answer when I ask this. But they give me two answers when I ask 1 by 2 by 3. But no, this also has many different answers. In fact, it has five different possibilities. 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 has five possibilities. So I could have thought of 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 as 1 by 2 by 3. The whole thing by 4. So then it is 1 by 2 divided by 3, which is 1 by 2 into 1 by 3, 1 by 6. 1 by 6 by 4, right? So this is 1 by 6 divided by 4 which is 1 by 24 because it's 1 by 6 into 1 by 4 right so this gives us one answer but the most common of course is 1 by 2 by 
3 by 4 and this of course you know is 1 by 2 into 4 by 3 1 by 2 into 4 by 3 I can write it as 4 by 6 or 2 by 3 so this gives us another way of solving the same question but this is a very different answer that's a very different answer because they are very different questions and now if I look at the third way of doing this which is 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 so it is 2 divided by 3 by 4 so if I try to solve this it is 1 divided by 2 divided by 3 by 4 or 2 into 4 by 3 this is 8 by 3 1 divided by 8 by 3 gives us 3 by 8 so this thing is equal to 3 by 8 okay so we get the answer 3 by 8 if I assume this question to mean 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 but if I had assumed the question not these are not the only possibilities right I could have assumed the question to mean 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 what is 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 it is 1 divided by 2 by 3 divided by 4 is 2 by 3 divided by 4 so into 1 by 4 right so 2 by 3 is divided by 4 2 by 3 has to be multiplied by the reciprocal of 4 which is 1 by 4 and how much is this if you see this 2 and 4 cancels out so giving me 1 by 6 in the denominator so this is 1 divided by 1 by 6 and that is clearly 1 into 6 which is 6 so you get a nice big number 6 right this is not a fraction so 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 gives me 6 okay once I change the question I change how I see this question I am not changing the question this question is meaningless so but I am just saying I am going to think of it as 1 by 2 by 3 divided by 4 and I get an answer 6 but of course I can also do this as 1 by 2 by 3 the whole divided by 4 can you see the difference between these two this is 2 by 3 by 4 right in the denominator it is 1 divided by 2 by 3 by 4 whereas this is 1 divided by 2 by 3 whole thing by 4 how much is this 1 divided by 2 by 3 is 1 into 3 by 2 the reciprocal of 2 by 3 that divided by 4 is 3 by 2 divided by 4 it is 3 by 2 into reciprocal of 4 so it is 3 by 2 into 1 by 4 I get 3 by 8 now this may look like the same answer as this but remember it's a different question just happened that the answers look alike okay but basically this is a different question this is a different question so I want you to understand that you have five different ways of interpreting this question so this by itself has no meaning next time somebody gives you a question first ask does the question have meaning don't start answering the question always ask whether the question means something once you know what the question means of course you can go ahead and start finding the answer next time somebody says find out what is 2 by 5 by 7 don't answer ask are you asking for 2 by 5 divided by 7 or are you asking for 2 divided by 5 by 7 because these two have very different answers so i hope all of you had fun learning this and see you next time in the next math misconception session until then goodbye